I look crazy. <laughs> Mike, you're gonna introduce yourself to the tenant, right? That's a game plan, you know. Introduce myself, see what her game plan is to either vacate the property or stay in there and gotta pay rent. So we'll see. Hello. How's it going? My name is Mike. I'm the new property manager. I just wanted to, you know, introduce myself and get some feedback from you. I know the seller had made the arrangements for you to vacate the property within 30 days. Um, is that still possible? So it's scary. Uh, it's just for you to turn it off. Yeah, we'll turn we'll turn it off. Okay. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Leveraging Real Estate for Freedom. As you can see behind me, these are some ugly ass duplexes. However, what seems very glamorous and flashy may not make the most profits majority of the time. Properties like this, they need a lot of work, needs a lot of love, and that's why there's a lot of meat on the bones. But let's go take a look. here is that we buy this duplex we are inherently a problematic tenant who's not paying rent right now or something's happening with her and uh, this unit is actually vacant right behind me so we're gonna go in and fix it up real quick rent it out and the bigger play here is that we're gonna convert these two garages into an ADU so by the time we're done with this this will either be three units total or maybe four units total i haven't decided whether or not i want to convert those into studios or if i want to combine both of them both the garages and convert it into like a one bedroom one bath or two bedroom one bath uh, it just depends on what will make the most amount of sense uh, once we pencil everything out but uh i think mike you're gonna introduce yourself to the tenant right that's the game plan you know introduce myself see what her game plan is to either vacate the property or stay in there and gotta pay rent. So, we'll see. How's it going? Oh, sure. My name is Mike. I'm the new property manager. So, scary. Uh, it's just for you two. Turn it off. Yeah, we'll turn, we'll turn it off. Okay. Thank you. Usually, we do walkthroughs during the time that we're in contract. However, this one, it was off-market listing and we had to use private money to close, which meant that we didn't have that much time to do walkthroughs and show you guys what the property is all about. So now we close on the property and we're making a video, okay? So a little bit about the numbers. We purchased this for $360,000. I predict that we're gonna spend around $40,000 rehabbing both units. And then we're going to spend an additional 100,000 to convert the two car garages into an ADU. Permitting, build out, everything included 100 grand, okay? So then that would mean we're in it for about $500,000. Now, I predict this two units will become three units and the three units will be pretty much brand new inside and out. So based on a gross rent multiplier, okay, we predict that this exit price for this property will be between 600 to 700,000, which makes our profit margin anywhere between 100 to 200,000. Did you have a lifelong discussion? <laughs> so you should just give me the rundown of the old owner. Uh -huh. He's a slumlord. And uh -huh. He's just terrible. Didn't even fix nothing. He wants me to move out because she has bachelors of a whole bunch of things. I just said, "What do you want to leave?" Yeah, right? yeah. So she goes, "I need a place to stay and funding." And she also wants a letter of recommendation. <laughs> so she wants a letter of recommendation. All right, we'll talk about it. Drafted up. Uh, two weeks. She can move in two weeks. To pay for the movers and five grand. Okay, all right. we'll fast on this deal we can be in and out in about six months if we're slow it'll take about eight to twelve months so we'll check back in with you guys once we are finished <laughs> 